Welcome to the Dispatch and Commissary Cabins. This dispatch cabin was built in 1921 after the Big Burn of 1910. The Big Burn was a huge fire that swept through extremely dry forests in eastern Washington, northern Idaho, and Montana. In just two days, many small fires driven by hurricane force winds grew into a three million acre inferno. Several small communities were burnt to the ground. 86 people, mostly firefighters, died in the big blow up. This event caused the nation to look to the Young Forest Service, created just five years earlier, to take action to control fires. A plan of action was developed calling for mountaintop lookouts to provide early detection and a communication system to deliver the location of the fire to a dispatcher, like the person who worked in this cabin. A system of roads and trails were also built to provide access and strategically located fire suppression forces were stationed and quickly sent to control and put out the fires. Fish Lake was selected as one such dispatch center and location for fire suppression crews. Phone lines for communication were strung from several lookouts throughout the forest to this cabin. The main travel route was the Santa Am Wagon Road which converged here along with numerous other trails and travelways. To the right, the commissary cabin was also constructed in 1921. It was used as a tool and food storage building. On the left of the dispatch cabin is the spring house, a small log structure that served as a cooler. A small spring under the floor kept temperatures cool. Today, the dispatch cabin serves as a visitor information site during the summer months, and the commissary cabin can be reserved through the Forest Service as part of their winter rental program. Take some time to walk into the dispatch cabin to see a 1930s map with holes punched at lookout locations so the dispatcher could locate fires using the lookout's compass readings. There is also a ground return phone used to communicate fire locations along with several other artifacts of the era. The road in front of the cabin is the historic Santa Am Wagon Road. It was a toll road that opened in 1870 as a route for commerce from the Willamette Valley to ranchers and miners in eastern Oregon and Idaho. Fish Lake was a favored stop along the road, largely due to the lake that dried up in early summer and provided a rich source of forage for livestock. During the late 1800s and early 1900s, Fish Lake was a bustling place. It contained a blacksmith shop, saloon, and other structures that served travelers' needs. At times, there were a hundred or more wagons in the area to graze and rest the livestock for the next step in their travels, either east toward Bend or west towards the Willamette Valley. Continue your journey a short distance up the road to the residence where the forest supervisor, C.C. Hall, lived. Experience the best view of the lake from its front porch and learn how the lake was formed. Thank you.